he's picking up a small portion and I saw this video. What Acharya Prashant has done, he's picked up a small clip of my long answer on regarding non-veg food, that eating non-veg food is not prohibited, trying to explain to them. And I've and I had a debate also on this topic. Is non-veg in food permitted or prohibited for a human being? So he picks up a short part of my answer, small portion, where I say that in vegetables, all the nine amino acids are not present. But in the non-veg food, all the nine amino acids are present. And we come to know from science that there are about 20 to 22 amino acids, out of which nine are called as essential amino acids. These nine amino acids are not produced by the human body or are produced in a lesser quantity, less than what's required. So it has to be taken in the external diet. So for a human being to be very healthy, these, out of these 22 amino acids, there are 20 or 20, I'll come to it later on, actually there are 20 amino acids. There are one or two which are not required by the human beings, but the total number of, um, total number of, uh, total number of amino acids are 22. One or two are not required. But most of them are produced by the human body. There are nine which are not produced by the human body or produce less. It has to be taken in the external diet or in the food for you to be very healthy, and these essential amino acids are nine. There is another category of conditional amino acids. There are six. Conditional amino acid means if you have a disease, for example, if you have a liver problem, then certain amino acids cannot be produced. So there are six amino acids which are called as conditional essential amino acids. Those nine which are not produced are produced in a very small quantity are called as essential amino acids. There are nine in number. Then the additional six Conditional essential amino acid means if you have a problem, if you are unhealthy, if you have a liver problem, then one is required to have some other health problems. So in these cases, there are additional six amino acids which may be required in certain conditions. They are called as conditional essential amino acids.